So we have these neat chickens. Um, half of them are Red Rangers and the other half are the Cornish Crosses. But we have a Red Ranger that is starting to turn into a rooster and he's trying to crow and it is, there it is. <laughs> it's the funniest sounding crow. There's T-Bird, that's the real crow. It's the funniest sounding thing I've ever heard. I wish you would do it again. When I heard that for the first time, I thought one of the chickens was dying. I was like, what in the world is that noise? There he is. <laughs> it sounds like a broken sweet toy. Oh. <laughs> Hey, mama, what are you doing? Why don't you come over here and let me rub that belly? Oh yeah, get nice and comfy. Dang girl, you getting big. Already day. Taters everywhere. All of them are up. Awesome. All right, headed to feed the girls now and Dolly. It's dinner time for everyone. Zach's taking the feed with the wheelbarrow. <laughs> we have to haul it all the way down here, so it makes it a whole lot easier yeah, to really, put it in there. I'd rather really do this once every two weeks than every single day. Right. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder, right? That's right. <laughs> And we uh, were planning on doing a garden walk, which we are going to show you some of the garden stuff because we have expanded unlike any other today. It has been, well, the whole week has been kind of garden expansion and it's yeah. been amazing. Um, but we have been so busy. So busy. It's, but good busy. Uh, if you've been following the videos this week, you know, we built a back deck. I finished that today, which we will show you that. Um, and then we got... We bought six more cattle panels today, but we already had two, so we had eight total cattle panels. 
and we put that's just cattle panel galore up in our yeah. backyard now. Mulch the garden, yeah. um, made new beds, filled those beds with new soil. We had like 14 bobcat scoops of soil that we shoveled out into the beds. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had to fix our toilet at one point, which is a long story. We'll spare you the details. Um, but that you, got fixed. <laughs> if you join our live Monday night, we'll tell it. <laughs> but it's a little, it's not crazy graphic but if you have a woozy stomach you might not yeah. want to hear it but we will we'll tell it on our lives so make sure to join our lives monday at 8 p.m eastern yeah um, we do it every monday and we'll share those details there yeah um, but you know it's kind of when i think about times of how busy we've been oh, thank you cloud yeah. um it feels like so much work and it is a lot of work and it feels so hard um, but the rewards are so beneficial you know giving a little extra effort Get a big old fly. <laughs> um, giving a little extra effort and working really hard right now is going to allow for us to have so much more food this summer. Yeah. If we didn't do this now, we wouldn't have the food in the next few months that's coming up because we have plenty of plants in our greenhouse, um, but we didn't have all the space. And so now we do. And, yeah. um, you know, when your back's telling you no and your body's saying, no, oh, no more scoops of dirt, just leave it alone, uh, fight through it. Get through it now. So you can have all that reward and what, three months probably? Yeah. Three months or total, well, probably even like two months really to start reaping the rewards for it. So keep your body strong, keep powering through, know that it's worth it. There goes Dolly. <laughs> oh, the cat. Oh, goodness gracious, don't do World War II. That kitty cat. <laughs> I know Dolly, she just does it to get on everybody's nerves. Um, but yeah, so I just want you to like have that power to get through it and know, you know, cause if you don't do it now, you'll probably regret it later. Yeah, so. and a lot of you are starting first time gardens. Uh, we've seen a lot of people come into the Stab Tribe, which is our Facebook group. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't found that yet, please go do it. Even if you're not a first time gardener, there's so many people there with knowledge and information and help. And if you are into gardening or homesteading at all, you can learn so much in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Um, so be sure you, you do join, join that because we have a lot of fun over there. Yeah, and yeah, isn't she the sweetest thing ever? If you haven't seen our video, um, when it said, Jen needs your help, it's the previous video that we had. Go watch it. She said the sweetest things ever. I had no idea she was saying it. I was at it low, like she said. Uh, I, I saw it before you all, because I edited the videos, but I was like in tears, like watching it. It was just so sweet. I love you. I love you. All right, y'all wanna go see what we've done today? Got Elsa in the butt. Elsa, oh, Lordy Day. Where are you going, babe? Elsa, come back. Elsa. Elsa. No. Now pass. Dolly. 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 Old faithful. Come Old on, faithful you know. Dolly. You'll get the pet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, garden time. What's up, babies? Was that good? Hi, Callie. Hi, pretty girl. What are you doing? Was that yummy? Okay, back we go. Grammy Karen's here. <laughs> we're going to try to show you what we've done in the garden real quick. I think we've got some family coming over tonight. Do some grilling because the rain and the cold's coming. So yeah, let's go see. So it's about time to fire up the grill. I really only like to ever use charcoal. Uh, my dad actually gave me this grill and it's a twofer. It's got charcoal and gas, which is kind of a bummer because you get such a small charcoal area because that's really the only thing I use. But there's one big key factor that it does give you. This side burner to start your charcoal with. So it's like literally the only thing I use it for. Get it lit. And then I use my chimney. Oh, did y'all hear that? It, that was the- was the Red Ranger. Yeah, the Red Ranger <laughs> trying to the rooster. But you use that, that gets your charcoal started, then you can let the chimney go. Only good use for a mm -hmm. gas grill. Work smarter, not harder. That's right.
That's quite the carrot harvest. Really excited about it. Need to get a little bit better at thinning. The MI Gardeners and the Hostels were absolutely fantastic. That's the ones that we got nice solid carrots out of. The black nebulas or whatever you call them, they didn't do worth a darn. Um, I don't know. We won't grow them again. I didn't like them. Um, I don't know what the elements were different. They weren't because they were all right beside each other. But they didn't make it. I didn't like them. So we got all the orange ones and now it is time to take them in and can them probably in the next couple days because we got a lot of stuff going on. We've had to like piece this video together due to the weather that we've had around here. And I know a lot of y'all are facing that too. Um, but it made it a little challenging to get the shots that we wanted yeah. to. Um, but we were able to get a walkthrough. So we've added a lot of cattle panels. Yeah. Um, we did an archway. Eight, I think. Yes, yeah, eight yeah. of them. Eight of them up. We did an archway as soon as you walk into, because I, I remember the videos. So if I'm crafty, I may throw them on top of our talking. I think I might be able to do this. <laughs> so as you walked in, you saw the archway um, right at our gate. If you remember correctly, when we did the flower beds, I asked for a lot of recommendations. So I uh, got crafty and basically just put them higher on T-posts. They seem to be holding really well. Yeah. And so we'll, uh, we're thinking trumpet. Trumpet uh, vines. Trumpet vines possibly going over there. Just something really pretty. Or morning glories. Morning glories. We wanted the. I don't know. We'll find some. We we originally thought about the uh, that blue tie tea yeah. thing. Butterfly pea. Butterfly pea. Thank you. Um, but we're having some difficulty germinating that bad boy. So yeah. we still may try to direct sow some once this weather warms up and tries to start acting right. But we'll see. So as you came in, you get a good shot of our garden and you saw all of the arches, which you can kind of see behind us here now. It was completely different. It's it does. Beautiful. It really is. So we added four arches and our main four beds that we have right here. And we're going to be growing pole beans and tiger melons yeah, and kind of all kinds of things. They're going to be growing over the arches. And that really expands the garden a lot. Yeah. Um, because if you use the arches, you know, Jess is the queen of the cattle panel arches from Roots and Refuge. However, it really is just an amazing idea. Any kind of arch that you can do to grow up instead of out. Yeah. Um, in these raised beds because we can still use the raised beds for whatever else we want and then put just whatever we want to vine right yeah. next to the cattle panels. So we did that part. And then you want to talk about the tomato? Yeah, so we put two cattle panels um, going horizontally on the big 30 foot bed and that's what we're going to do for our tomatoes. Um, the hope is that they will grow up and then we'll attach them to that instead of using the tobacco sticks like we did last year. And hopefully it'll be um, easier. We won't have to tape all the sticks together. Yeah. We don't really like cages. They take up too much room. Well, where we, we uh, trim down to one stem. Yeah. Tomato cages don't really do the job for us because they're only like, what, maybe four foot tall. Yeah. So we get six, eight foot plants. Yeah, so that was a little way. tricky getting those up there, but we got it. Yeah, her and I knocked it out. A lot of pinches, yeah. <laughs> but it worked out. Um, and then there's one more arch on the very back side, and I think that's where we're gonna do some melons. Yeah, it's like a re-entry. Yeah, so we it have would that. be really pretty if it was flipped this way, but it didn't work out that way. So <laughs> but when we do you, our garden tour, exactly. we'll just come in from that side. That's right, well, you know, we have two different entries, basically. <laughs> that, you know, that's like actually entry into the garden, that's yeah. entry into the backyard. It's like that part back there is like the secret garden. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but we're really excited about it, and uh, we are growing, um, so it's very popular to grow a smaller size melon, right? You know, that's that's pretty hot right now. And so we found a tiger melon, yeah, um, which we're pretty excited. It looks kind of like the cousin of the Kajari, is the way yeah, I would cute. say it. it. It's pretty cute. So we're, we're going to try it out this year and see how we like it. Um, of course, we'll grow our normal stuff in our tilled garden that we have over there. But we have been busting butt. So unfortunately, we weren't able to plant this <laughs> week on my vacation, but that's okay. We needed to get all this done. Yeah, we probably wouldn't have been able to do it all. Exactly. We have frost. Chickens are doing Jumping weird around. things. <laughs> chickens are doing chicken things. Uh, we have frost. Actually, it's freeze coming tonight. So we have everything covered up. Blankets. We didn't have much out. Just a few zinnias and our green stock was the main thing. Um, we covered that up and I covered up my tea garden just because my chamomile was just starting to bloom and I don't yeah. want it to die. And then the greenhouse, we have got our heater back in there, a big heater. Hopefully it'll do the job and reach the whole greenhouse and no frost will enter. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. I know all of you are dealing with the same thing. So we're just all going to pray for each other tonight and hope for the best. <laughs> That's exactly right. And a lot of it too is just with the shock itself of uh, the 
the freeze coming because it's not used to that. So we'll get there. We'll all make it through tonight, and then we'll close our eyes, eyes tomorrow morning when the yep. sun comes up. Somebody's here, so we're going to have to wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, y'all. We love you all very much. We hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below. Yep, we love you all. Until the next one. Bye. Bye.